Hello, George Parrott here. I'm the missions director at Morningstar CM Missions. And I want to uh, ask for your prayers for some of our dear friends and also for the nation of Pakistan, which is facing severe persecution. Some of our friends we've helped get out of Pakistan into other countries located in the 1040 window. However, the persecution appears to have followed them. And for example, one of our close friends is in Thailand right now. He has ran from country to country in Asia and the Middle East. And he's currently in Thailand with his wife and two beautiful children. And he wrote over uh, yesterday to me that he is going back soon to Pakistan, even though there's uh, death threats and death warrants against him. There's two illegal criminal cases against him for blasphemy. And he appreciates our prayers. He covets our prayers as he is a, a brave warrior, full of faith, but he feels that he must go back to rescue these two young girls that are teenagers who are also being charged with blasphemy. Uh, we have another family, um, a husband and wife, who's another apostolic leader in Pakistan, has planted many churches in Pakistan, still planting churches in Pakistan, even though he's in Sri Lanka in a UN refugee camp. However, reports are coming in that uh, at the end of June, um, the UN uh, Refugee Service uh, stopped letting Pakistani Christians come to Sri Lanka. And some sources say that Al-Qaeda has influenced the Sri Lankan government to put pressure on the UN to send these uh, Christian Pakistani believers back to Pakistan, which is a clear violation of international treaty signed in 1948 that makes it illegal for any government or the UN to send back to the home country people facing a political or religious persecution. And he has had to relocate. Last week we helped raise some funds for him to move his family to a safe and secure location. In the midst of that time of his own family's living situation being disrupted, he also rescued this young woman who was on the list to be deported very soon to be sent back to Pakistan and took this young woman with them into hiding in a new undisclosed location. So these dear friends appreciate your prayers, need your prayers. In the Western world, oftentimes we take our freedoms and liberties and peaceful living surroundings for granted. But count our blessings, I believe the Lord is saying to us, to count how we are so richly blessed in the West, and we need to be on guard for that spreading threat, as we've all heard and read and seen on the news about the increasing persecution in um, northern Iraq and the Kurdistan region. Uh, some of our friends emailed last week requesting urgent prayer, um, that they were only 10 minutes away from the ISIS fighters and they could hear artillery shells and gunfire happening. And this was a team um, from the U.S., from the Midwest, over there helping feed people. We have other friends in Greece and Turkey that are helping uh, take carloads of couriers up into Kurdistan. And for only $100, they can bring a carload of persecuted believers from northern Iraq to safety in nearby countries. So we'll have a, um, uh, a message on the bottom of how you can give as God leads to help us with dear friends that we know and trust um, and you can give to support their cause. Any amount will be very helpful. And we have another uh, man who is the head of Morningstar CMM missions in Pakistan on the ground and his name is Latif. Uh, which is a common name. I don't want to disclose his last name or his location. But with his help in the last year, we have uh, drilled two new wells to give water to everybody freely. Muslims or Christians or other beliefs, um, it's okay that we're giving free water as it's near areas of evangelism and church plants in Pakistan, in several areas of Pakistan, where we can use the, the fresh, clean, safe water and hygiene training to uh, witness and evangelize 
the good news and the precious love of Jesus Christ for all his creation. So join us in praying that we can uh, help and do our part to cover these dear friends with our precious prayers. God hears our prayers and he's listening to you as you travail for these precious brothers and sisters. You know, when one part of the body of Christ is hurting, we all suffer. And I just ask you to, to take a little time each day to pray for our dear friends that are in persecuted nations throughout the 1040 window and to pray for the protection of our families here and our constitution in the United States for our religious liberties and freedoms are at stake as never before in our nation's history. And so we invite you to go to our website at eaglemissions.org and as the Holy Spirit leads you to uh, sow and give or at least pray for these uh, precious friends of ours. Some of them have been here. I have visited some of them in their land and it's so transformative and humbling to meet people as we did last year in the Middle East and Mediterranean who were former Taliban freedom fighters, who were members of Republican Guard in Iran, who were members of Al-Qaeda uh, that have gone through uh, our training and discipleship program taken into the very throne room of God to have their lives transformed and their hearts changed Whereas six months ago, they would kill people like you and me, but now they're waiting on tables, they're folding chairs, they're helping cook, they're helping to lead worship as our friends there through their training discipleship program have brought them into the presence of the one true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they have had encounters and visions with Jesus Christ, the perfect and pure evangelist, our older brother, our high priest, and our chief intercessor, who is sitting at the right hand of the throne of God night and day, praying on our behalf. And we pray you'll draw closer to the Lord in the days ahead as he gives us new revelation about the joy of the Lord as our strength, and that we all go higher and deeper together to be part of his perfect and spotless bride without blemish or wrinkle in the days ahead as we grow into this great coming harvest in the days ahead. Bless you and thank you for your time.